And good afternoon, everybody. This is Michael Filigaro. I am with LogicalSignals.com and also TradersHelpingTraders.com. And this is the Elliott Wave update for the S&P 500, the ES, for Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. Uh, well, Facebook and um, Apple reported today, uh, both reported extremely good quarters, uh, lots of profit, and uh, a good outlook, I guess, coming into uh, the balance of uh, the second quarter. Um, did not do much for uh, the S&P. It uh, rallied a little bit, but as you can see on my hourly chart, it basically stuck to a pretty tight um, range. In fact, this thing has basically just been moving sideways for all this week. Um, and not sure what it's waiting for now. Um, we still have Amazon to report tomorrow. Rumor has it that Amazon might announce a uh, stock split for potential inclusion into the Dow Jones, would have put it into at least the top three uh, indexes. And that could produce some fireworks tomorrow, but yet to be seen. Based on what we do see, I have really no changes to make to the overall count. We continue to run the uh, possibility that the wave three will be moved over, as you can see, I gotta pull it down. This intermediate third wave may be ending here versus there, as we have been discussing, the intermediate fourth wave should be way deeper than this. In fact, this is the first Fibonacci number, if indeed we're in an intermediate fourth wave. And if we're finishing a B, the C wave is going to be devastating. Could it be? Absolutely, it could be. But I wouldn't be anticipating a devastating C wave with this, you know, such a slant upwards of a B wave. Um, but we're going to have to let the market work this out in the market to tell us what's coming out and it will work out the count. So, but we have to keep that possibility open that we're going to pull the five and the three over and that a third wave would complete, uh, could be right here. Again, we moved to a slight new high again today at 4193.75. And did that complete it? We have to wait and see. The market did come off, but now, you know, it's rallied back up and stays in its, what I'm calling its safety zone. Its safety zone is, is between uh, 4170 and 4186. And that's where it hangs out, pops above a little bit, pops below a little bit. And until it can get enough news or get enough momentum in one way or the other, that's where we sit. So we have to continue to allow for continued upside. Eventually, we're looking for it to reach. I mean, it, it's not getting able to get above this 1.236. Uh, so, you know, uh, that the C wave would be 1.236 above the A wave. It's not getting above that. And that sits at, uh, I think it's 94, right? Nine, right where we were, 41.94. And then we have 42.03. Now, I am thinking that we should get enough of a boost if indeed this is finishing a minor um, fifth wave up and or even a minute fifth wave up that we need to be able to get above where we are um, does it absolutely have to no of course not it actually could be done now um, but then if it is we should begin to tumble pretty significantly as the start of, again, if I move this over, as the start of a fourth wave, intermediate fourth wave correction. So I'm fairly certain that no matter what happens, if I even have to complete it here, that I'm likely gonna pull this over uh, simply based on the fact that I am needing to stick to what the characteristics of a wave and that degree should come in at. And it should definitely come in more than what we've seen thus far. So, I mean, what we're, all we've seen thus far is 4,110. 
and that's it. And so it's just been rally, slight rally, slight decline, rally, you know, but that's kind of where it's been. So the s and has actually been a little bit on the boring side, but let's see if it can perk itself higher. So upside, we have 4194. So far holding things back, I would expect a break above it. I would expect a, a move at least to 4,203 or 4,200, let's say. And if that completes it, we go into corrective wave, then we still have a wonderful intermediate wave five sitting out there waiting to begin. And we may be completing this intermediate fourth wave if we get a deep enough uh, correction down. We may end up labeling it as such. And that still leaves an intermediate fifth wave advance. And that's the one that we're anticipating is going to be taking us to 4,300, 4,400, possibly even 4,500. And so we still got a lot to get through before we get to that point. But tomorrow, I am suspecting that we may get much of the same that we saw today. We may travel up. We may get above that 4,194 4 level. We may head towards 4,200, would be nice. Or we will continue to decline and hopefully continue to find support right here at our moving averages. I'm gonna pull that open, well, oh, that's not gonna work. Sorry about that. Let me go down one so I can pull up cleaner levels. Uh, we, we continue to have support at, at 79. We, we have our moving averages, which are now still all basically pointing up. This is the kicker. You know, our moving averages have not, I mean, they're, they're a little bit flat, the 50 is very flat, which is telling us that's pretty much what the market has been doing, moving flat. The 200 is not barely arcing or pointing higher. It's kind of, again, being very reflective of what the market is doing. So we're not, I'm not really expecting much. These, these are very tradable moves. If you're an ES trader, they are very tradable. They make nice day trades. Again, follow your moving averages, pull in your Fibonacci's, and then you can do it on the on the shorter scale. You can bring uh, different numbers in and to help you for more of your intraday trading. Again, remember, I use a one, two, and a five-minute chart for my intraday day trading. Um, and I would do the same in the S&P. Right now, my primary day trading market is the NASDAQ. So, But I know it also works in the S&P. So... Here's support on a 30 minute basis. We have all of our moving averages. We have stronger support down here at the 200 at 41.72. It's not all that far. I mean, it'd be a $14 drop, but that's stranger things have happened. Um, and then we have continued to have support coming off this entire level. And so that's where I'm gonna leave it. And we have to allow the market to tell us, continue to trade what's in front of you, follow your moving averages, follow your Fibonacci, follow your Elliott, and that will guide you on entry and exits and have a good trading day. The next update will be Thursday, the 29th of April.